What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's back to Reality Comics one more time. This is the uh, second part of my current comic haul. I've been picking up a lot of comics uh, last couple of weeks. Um, today is my birthday the 20th, so I thought I should uh, take some time and uh, post some stuff up. Uh, so here's the second part of this huge collection. I got here uh, Wildcats number one. I don't know, just you know Jim Lee whatever actually I thought I had this one but I never had it so cool to have either way very happy with it I came across this one here Vigilante uh, annual number one um, these all came in a, in a purchase that I, I made online um, on Facebook and the guy was selling them for like 40 cents a piece um, so I bought like I don't know $50 worth of comics you know just blind by so I was very happy with what I got so also got this one vigilante number four I do have vigilante number one these are actually in my doors I don't even know why they, they ain't worth nothing <laughs> um, this is a uh, coda number two and I got another copy of coda number three so that's pretty cool uh, I got the uh, new mutants uh, Dead Souls number one. I finally saw the new mutants, and um, yeah, that movie sucked. <laughs> they tried to make it into a horror movie, but it was all in everybody's mind, and eh, whatever. Spoiler, too bad. It wasn't that good. Don't spend your time watching it. It was alright. It wasn't great. They could have done better. I also came across this one. This one, uh, Disposable Legends number one. Uh, T T Pubs. I guess uh, comics I don't know who that is so very cool very cool uh, continuing on the uh, cold spots number one image comics I don't know I, I keep you know holding on to these number ones from image comics and all that because you don't know when they're when they blow up or they get opted or whatever so I'm very happy to get that do the same thing with a couple of the um, I don't remember what the name is now. Uh, moving on. I don't remember what it's called right now. All right. Also got this one. Doctor Strange, number three. Uh, second printing. Everybody's going crazy over second and third printings and fourth printings or whatever. But cool. Have, it's cool to have that. Uh, got Jessica Jones, number three. This is the first print. Um... The Immortal, the Immortal Man, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, Immortal Man. Uh, this is number five. Um, pretty cool cover. Yeah, there's that John Constantine. It's a Kirkham, Kirk Kirkham cover. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here, Superman Action Comics. Uh, what is this number six? Yep, New Fifty Two stuff. Variant cover. Badass looking cover. Very happy to have that. And I got the uh, Incredible Hooks 7-Eleven. Uh, uh, I don't know. Whatever. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I guess. Is this Legacy? Marvel Legacy Return to Planet Hook. Huh. I guess it must be a tie-in or something. And this is a weird comic. I think it looks like that. Yeah. Called Friendo. I have no clue where this is from. I think it's... I don't even know what is this image. Ah, it's unknown so that's I think that's three yeah because I don't have the cover on it. yeah I think that's three this is number four I think because I looked it up a little earlier no no the other one was two this is three and then this one's number four I guess they're from vault comics friendo ah never seen it before but it look pretty cool uh, <laughs> you can't beat Fujitsu. <laughs> so this is Fujitsu Aftershock Comics, uh, number one. I don't know. It, it came in a packet. I thought it was pretty cool. I never seen it before, so that's a fun thing about you know seeing new things. Uh, let's see here. Some of these blind bags are pretty cool. They show you some comics you ain't never seen before. Um, X Force number three. Excuse me. <clears throat> This was very happy because I've been trying to fill in this this whole run 
of the uh, Jane Four, uh, Jane Jane Foster, uh, the Mighty Thor. Um, so this is Jane, uh, the Mighty Four, Mighty Thor number nine. I didn't have this one, so couldn't actually get that filler because that whole volume just has amazing covers. So I'm trying to fill them in now. When they're a little bit more expensive, but whatever. I'll pick them as I go. Uh, let's see here. And this is uh, weapon. Uh, oh, the hunt for Wolverine weapons. Weapon lost number one. Just a nice little mix cover right there with the Wolverine, Daredevil, and Foxy Cleopatra. I have no clue who that is. But um, yeah, super happy to get that one. This is an amazing cover. I, had, I didn't even, I wasn't even aware that this was something. Uh, Hunt for Wolverine number one. Um, just a straight up badass cover. This is amazing. Uh, I guess it's Min Lostin, Lustin, something like that. Then I got this one, Return Return of Wolverine number five, and the uh, Adamantium Agenda number three. Then we got Claws of the Killer, Wolverine stuff. That's number three, and this is number three variant. So I'm thinking that's the Dakin, Deacon, Dakin, Dokin, whatever. It's his son, I think, because he has like the two claws up here and the one coming out the bottom. So that's probably Dakin or whatever his name is. Then I got this one. Uh, Hunts for Wolverine, Mystery of the uh, Madripoor. Oh, my Mystery in Madripoor. I'm sorry, that's number one there. Uh, I believe first print. Yeah, first print. And then we got second print. Um, yeah, pretty cool. All the sexy ladies in the front there. Got Domino, Rogue, Psylocke, somebody. Jean, probably? I don't know. It could be Jean. Storm. And Supercalifractilis expialidosis, whatever her name is. <laughs> Girl from Deadpool, maybe. <laughs> All right, keep on going. We got more of the uh, mystery of a uh, mystery in, in Mandapore. This is number two. Uh, also, first print. I got uh, number four. I guess I skipped three there because I don't have it. Uh, variant edition with Psylocke there. And I have number four, I guess, variant. Is it four? Yeah, four variants. So that's pretty cool. And I came across, I ain't a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger guy anymore. I think the only real covers that I do like are the uh, foil covers where they're holding their helmets, which I keep sleeping on those. But uh, I eventually I'll get them. Every time I come across around them or across them, they either damaged or bent and I might just have to pull the trigger on a lot online or something like that because I do want all those I think they look pretty cool I think I only watched like the first I don't know volume of Power Rangers and then I just stopped looking at it because yeah, it just didn't entertain me anymore um, but yeah this is pretty cool Mighty Morphin Power Ranger number one Boom Studios then I got Domino number one um just badass cover she looks kind of an anime style but uh, it's still pretty cool looking cover then I got over here um, Iron Fist 80 Damnation I think this was a tie in to another another where uh, Nephistopheles takes over Las Vegas or something like that and they had um, Iron Fist uh, fighting in a tournament for his life or something or for his soul it says it right there um and there was a tie-in with Doctor Strange brought everybody back together after some something happened in Las Vegas and but when he did that he brought ne Nephistopheles um uh into Las Vegas and he started taking over uh yeah I don't know just something cool I guess this must be a tie-in to that so that was a pretty cool story I don't remember what the hell that story was but it, it was pretty cool it was entertaining I was hearing it in the uh Comic Storying or or Comics Explain on YouTube the other day. So I remember that. Uh, we got the Scarlet Spider number seven. Let's 
some of the Spidey stuff. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy today or join up today. I guess this is number 146 of Infinity Quest Part 1. Just a whole bunch of crap going on there. Um, I found this one, Hardcore number 1 and number 2. Not a big fan, but whatever. Looks pretty cool though. Can't complain. And then I found this one. A variant cover for uh, Red Hood Outlaw number Red Hood Outlaw 34. Variant cover with the uh, the penguin playing on a slot machine, I think. Terrible three outlaw. So pretty cool, pretty cool. I bear both me fellas and, and everybody else there, you know. We got a couple got a big old stack to go still. Then I got a whole short box left. <laughs> so uh, let's see here. Uh, this is a pretty cool one. Got this uh, X Force number seven. Badass cover. Got this uh, Champions uh, number six variant with uh, Spider Man there and all the kids running after him to get a a signature and all that. Take a picture. Uh, Justice League of America number twenty seven is also a variant cover. Um, I don't know what's going on. I haven't really read this or anything. So it looks interesting though. I like the cover. Um, then we got number 29. Also another badass looking cover. Variant cover as well. I got the uh, Royals. Number 3. Uh, it looks like this might be a connecting cover or something. There's a lot going on there. And then I got number 1. Let me see. Does it connect over here? Nope. Does it connect over here? Nope. All right, so it doesn't connect to this one, but it looks like a connecting cover for some reason. Oh, well, it's this one. So Royals number one, pretty cool cover there. Evil Heroes number five of six. Evil Heroes number five of six again. And this is Xenoscope, so I'm, I'm, it's crazy that they actually have like a Superman looking like. Uh, this one right here was badass looking. Evil Heroes number five or six. So these are all like uh, cover A through B, through C. I think it is. But that's a really bad badass looking cover right there. I think that's uh If I'm not mistaken, that that's a goddess of of war or death in in uh, in India. I guess that's pretty cool. I think she's missing a couple arms though, because well, if, if it is her, it's it should be six arms. But whatever. Who am I? And then this is Evil, Evil Heroes number one of six, cover C. Uh, kind of like a, a Wonder Woman ripoff. <laughs> That's what all these are. So just Wonder Woman, Marvel ripoffs and stuff like that. And DC ripoff. All right, so I came across this. This was pretty cool. It was a Mylar for some reason. I don't know why, but um, Death Watch or Armor Death Watch 2000 this is number one. Um, Sucker for a foil, so I like that one. That was pretty cool. I like <clears throat> saw this one. I had never seen these before. Um, Ancient Dreams. This is issue number three. I checked up on the uh, on the actual uh, set of these, and there are a bunch of nice covers in that one. So, and it's not just the mine. Right? <laughs> and this was pretty cool. I hadn't seen this. Reminds me of the old school uh, style of uh, comics, like really, really old school, like golden age you know astronaut type of deal um so this is alien worlds is number three and i got alien worlds number seven um i guess this is a canada based one because it's two dollars in canadian so that's pretty cool and i actually got an iron man on this one so that was pretty cool um iron man uh, invisible iron man 593 uh any lot will not be a lot if we don't have at least bloodshot number zero and number one. Nah, I got like five of these already, so I like whatever. Also got the Avengers on Canny number one. This is a variant edition. I know they made a bunch of these. They have like the one that's all black and white, half black and white. So I guess it's this one. There's a bunch of covers of this one. <clears throat> Oh, this was pretty cool. I, I, I saw this one. And so this is uh, Teen Titans number nine. I guess this is the uh, 75th Joker variant. 
or something or other. Um, yeah, it was a cool cover. I was I was very happy to get that one. So uh, then I got this one, Deep Roots number one uh, from Vault Comics, and then I got number one again. I guess this must be another variant. Uh, let's see here. We got Defenders. I still haven't seen the show. <laughs> I'm lagging on that one. So this is Defenders number three. I mean number ten, and this is number nine. And uh, so I got the Defenders, the best defense. Uh, Stanley co uh, collaboration right there, and this is number one. Uh, it's a pretty cool cover. I like the I like I like how it looks. I uh, got a uh, Deathstroke number three. I guess it must be like a female Deathstroke right there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is pretty cool. I got this one here, Disposable Legends number two. Um, I don't know. Look pretty weird. I like that there. Doctor Strange number ten, number eleven. I'm sorry. This is the uh, Zoom Zoom Takeover. I have no clue what the hell a Zoom Zoom is, but it's a variant. I guess. Oh, uh, you know what? I do think I do think I know what those are. Uh, I guess some some artists came up with these little piggy uh, looking like you know versions of Marvel creatures and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I remember, I remember where that was. It sucks. <laughs> All right, Deathstroke number number two. Let me get these out the way. A couple more with me. Let's see here. And I got Rat Queens number ten. I got that one too. I got I got a pretty good collection of the Rat Queens, so that's pretty cool. I got the uh, Billet Age of Conan Billet number three, number four, and number five i guess that might be a clay and crane because uh he did a lot of these you know type of action figure looking like for marvel but yeah i was uh yeah that was pretty cool so that was that's that ends it for this this round thank you very much for sticking on with me um it's a little bit longer than i normally make them but thank you very much for sticking around and uh keep watch for the uh third part of this all right thank you